<sighs> so this happened. About a week ago, me and my friend went to a bar slash club to kind of get out of our comfort zone, which usually was to maybe order a pizza and watch a movie. And I know what you're probably thinking. I did this to my head while I was drunk. But actually, this action was done completely sober. Not that I don't regret it though. Anyways, going out was the easy part, but we also dared each other to number one, dance, and to number two, to maybe go and ask a girl for a dance. Now, another two things. I'm completely sober and my friend only had one beer to drink and my friend is kind of awkward with girls and is kind of afraid of them. <laughs> well, afraid is like a strong word, but it's, it's uncomfortable for him to start a conversation with a woman and for me, it's the same to some extent, but also I didn't like to this club setting where you have to shout at people in order for, him, for them to hear you. And also there weren't any many girls in this club and there were mostly guys. So we ended up not talking to any girls, but we did the first part, which was to dance. Not that many people were dancing, but I just said, let's do it. So we went and danced and being totally sober again, and I experienced this uncomfortable feeling, which was uh, dancing to the songs I don't like and also being aware totally of everything and everyone. Now, when I used to drink in the past, I really liked to dance, but uh, I never thought that this activity could be something this unpleasant. But it got me thinking about the comfort zone and how only by escaping it in my life, I found the sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. Of course, I'm not saying that I go out of my comfort zone every day, but I remember that the events in my life where I actually went out of my safety bubble uh, and went a little bit further, those were the moments in my life that where I improved and got better. Now, going to a club and shaving my head are probably not the best examples of getting out of the comfort zone as I prefer myself with actual hair on my head. Oh, and by the way, I shaved my head and my friend shaved his head uh, after the club as a challenge to get out of the comfort zone which inspired me to do this video but escaping the comfort zone mostly leads to good things so then why do we prefer to be in the state of comfort instead of just pushing ourselves in order to grow in this video i will try to answer that and also talk about the ways of how to get out of your comfort zone <music> When we actually get out of our comfort zone, it usually happens because of the circumstances. Maybe as an introvert, you were invited to a party and you really prefer to stay at home, but you also want to experience a feeling of belonging and meet new people, so you go out. Or maybe your parents push you to start basketball lessons. Whatever the case is, it's usually the environment that pushes you, which is good. But the moments where you yourself push to experience new things or maybe to just keep following a routine which is not comfortable to do, that's when the real growth happens. Two years ago, I had a pornography and masturbation problem which led my now ex-girlfriend to leave me and instead of just getting back to my habits and just stay at home and watch porn, I knew I had to do something to get out of this bubble and I also was experiencing an existential crisis at that time. So I decided to take responsibility for myself and to go out and learn how to get better. And so I discovered stoicism, self-improvement and nofap. To a lot of you, this probably doesn't seem that much of an accomplishment, but to me, escaping that safety bubble and trying to fix myself led me to become the person I am today, who is much better, but by far not the best that I can be. Another thing that I struggled and still struggle with is to keep consistently exercising and to follow my diet properly. When I was a teenager, the excuse to not exercise was video games, and now it's work, but it's just excuses. There are days where I manage to push myself to go for a run or to do a stretch in the morning and to follow my diet, and afterwards I feel really good about myself. But then why do I still prefer to sit at home and watch a movie, for example, instead of just doing that 30 minutes of cardio? Because it's more comfortable. By me sitting down and watching a movie and maybe eating some ice cream, there's immediate result of short-term dopamine, while going out for a run and even the thought of it brings an uncomfortable feeling. The thing is, is that afterwards or in the process of doing something unpleasant, you are actually being rewarded with a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment, which you don't get from doing easy activities. Do something that sucks every day of your life. That is how you grow, said David Goggins. And while he's a master of going out of your comfort zone, all of us can take 
take this advice and apply it to our individual level that can help us to be better ourselves. You can make excuses of why this or this guy has the time, the energy and the money to keep experiencing new things and do the things which bring a challenge to them. But you have to worry about yourself, about your comfort zone. Maybe going for a run is not at all difficult for someone to do, but maybe it is for you. And that person won't grow the way that you will if you put on those shoes and go against your feelings and emotions and get it done. There's also another level of not doing the things you don't like, but the things you fear. I remember one of my biggest fears was to upload the video about the story behind my porn induced erectile dysfunction as what will my friends say when they see it, how will the public react and if they will shame me for this obviously embarrassing story, but the outcome was completely different. This video as of now is the most viewed video on my channel and also the comments are one of the most supportive and honest things I've ever seen on the internet. I'm truly grateful to live in a world where the nofap community exists and to be able to share these things and share these things with you guys and also receiving the stories and advices from you guys in the comments you share your stories and it's awesome that men are doing this nowadays to just share this with each other to help help each other this is an example of truly getting out of my comfort zone and being rewarded by it which i never expected but that's usually how the comfort zone works you expect the worst but actually receive something positive. When you start to think about how unpleasant it would be to get out of the bed and go to work, instead try to think how you will feel once you get the work done and how much you will actually train your discipline and grow as a person. The other side of discomfort and pain is the bright side, the one that will make all the unpleasant work feel worth it. In order to be better people, we have to make sure to end up on this other side. And if you agree with this message, please type yes in the comments down below. And also, if you live in a state of comfort, maybe you want to change that. So type also in the comments down below, how are you gonna change it? Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video right now and make sure to subscribe for more weekly self-improvement content. Be sure to also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm more active on Instagram, so be sure to follow me there as I post pretty much daily self-improvement content there. So if you like these videos and want to see something more, some more, more of my ideas, please make sure to follow me on Instagram. And also, if you want, you can support this channel both on Patreon and PayPal and all the links to everything are gonna be in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video and stay on your journey.